Our PACE project involves the evaluation of the Books and Homes Australia program, which is currently being undertaken in Manangrida, amongst other schools. And myself and two other students from Macquarie, along with Alicia from Books and Homes, have come to see how things are going on the ground. Books and Homes Australia is a national not-for-profit organisation that provides books to disadvantaged children in low socioeconomic areas and remote areas. We have 20,000 children on the primary program nationally from 178 communities around Australia. The PACE team consists of two social science students and a health student. So we've all got really different skills, which is fantastic because we can really bring it together and look at this from a lot of different angles. Because they come from a broad, cross-disciplinary range of subjects, they've really brought a broad range of knowledge to the table and to this project. The three of us got together in the library at the uni and did a lot of planning writing up our surveys and our interviews. Uh, and then basically it was on a plane straight up here and right in at the deep end. Manangrida is an Indigenous remote community in the Northern Territory. Just after you cross over from Kakadu, we're about 300 kilometres into Arnhem Land. During the wet, all our food and all our supplies come in via the barge. With any of our PACE activities, safety is always at the forefront of our mind and we have to make sure that wherever our students go, they're safe and that we're also protecting the partners and the communities that they go to. So I do a thorough risk assessment of the activity and just put mitigation strategies in place and communicate those to the students. One of the key things that I prepare them for is the idea that Indigenous communities are not all the same, that they're all unique, they have their own languages, they have their own culture. There's probably six main languages that the community speak and we teach six languages at the school but there is probably around 22 different languages spoken at the school on any given day. The project that the Macquarie Pay students are undertaking is an evaluation of one of our programs in Manangrida. We have funding for 300 students on the program, so we're trying to do an evaluation to see how successful the program is going, whether or not the students are reading more, whether they're engaging with books more. We've spoken to the parents of the children here, teachers and Miranda the principal, in order to gather data and information that's going to help us evaluate the program. One of the things I guess we like to do is to encourage as many kids when they're in community to come to school and one of the great incentives that we've got is Books in Homes. Books in Homes actually provides the only service for kids in Manangrida to get books from Manangrida into their home. Most of the kids love bringing books at home, especially the one my girls have got now. And I see most of the kids when I go around the house, you know, looking around, visiting families. I see kids looking at the books and maybe showing to their parents and parents can know what they are doing at school. The project that the PACE students are doing for us is very, very important to us. Books and Homes Australia is a quite a small organisation, so we don't have the resources to be able to do this scale of evaluation on our own. So it is tremendously important to have help from people who are skilled like the students at PACE. It's been an amazing opportunity. Getting to meet the community and being able to interact with the community has been a massive highlight for me. And also just being able to put into practice the skills that I've picked up in my degree in, I guess, a real life context. A really amazing opportunity was to go up to Rocky Point, which is owned by a traditional owner in the Manningrida area. And it was just so special to walk through and to, I guess, learn a bit about the history. Amazing. For me, the biggest highlight was seeing all the children receiving their books and how excited they were when they received them all. They clapped each other and they all just seemed really, really excited and happy. Today we had the chance to visit the Arts and Cultural Centre in Manangrida. They exhibit a lot of work by local artists and actually very well known Australian Indigenous artists. We would really like to see, particularly this Man and Greta project, as a pilot project, we'd like to see other students go out to other communities and get involved in our program as best as they can. 
PACE provides a wonderful opportunity for students to use their skills that you've been acquiring over the past couple of years at Macquarie and to actually yeah, engage with people in the community. And as researchers this is invaluable really because you can't get this experience from email correspondence or ringing up and speaking to teachers. To actually be here firsthand gives you a true indication of the effect of the program. I'd strongly encourage any student at Macquarie who is thinking about undertaking a PACE unit to really give it a go. Don't be afraid of getting outside your comfort zone. I think, as you can see, as you can see. <laughs> it's been really a really worthwhile experience having them here and I think they've done a great job and just really calmly fitted in and gone about what they needed to do in a really respectful and kind way. I've been vision impaired since I was a baby and for me the PACE activity has been a really fantastic thing to do. The PACE team have been incredibly supportive and I'd absolutely recommend it to other people with, with disability to give it a go and get those extra skills in practice. I think it would be great one day if one of my students went to Macquarie and came back as a Macquarie University PACE student as well. Hopefully that's going to happen one day. By the time we finish the PACE project we would have spent around 100 hours in planning, collecting the data, analysing the data that we've found and writing up the final report. Since coming back to Sydney they've collated all that data into an evaluation which has been incredibly impressive. They have presented the results and we are so thrilled because the results are fantastic. I would 100% recommend PACE to any other organisation, particularly not-for-profit organisations because we have such limited resources and they really do bring such skilled work to, to any project. We would wholeheartedly recommend the PACE program to other organisations because it works.